smile, buddy. Oh, yeah, I boogie. Yuck. Come on, boy. What is going on, guys? Welcome back. I'm out in my backyard grilling up some deer steak. And uh, I got a short little video for you guys today. Hope you guys like it. Took some L's on this day, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, guys, this is actually on a new camera. I bought Brittany a camera, a nice little Canon G7 for her birthday, and obviously I can use it too. So uh, things pretty sick, man. So this is my first time actually using it. But um, so this day, the first couple weeks of May in Delaware are pretty much like prime time to catch a big striper, a big bluefish, and it off right off the beach. And so that's what I was trying to do, man. And uh, but on the way down, I, I realized I forgot all my GoPros, forgot every camera. So pretty much chalked, up, chalked it up as an L, stopped and got bait. And by the way, I, I got bait from Old Inlet just because it's so convenient. Man, I got the worst bunker I've ever bought in my life. That place really went downhill, I'm not gonna lie. And it's not the first time I bought shitty bunker from them, man. Um, it's, it's disappointing, it's, they're just so convenient, but never again I'm buying bait from there, never again. But anyway, Got my shitty bunker. Also, I forgot to get mullet. So, pretty much out, out of the game for bluefish. Pretty bummed about that. Lighting's better this way, huh? Yeah. But anyway, no cameras, and I hooked up. It was just it was just skates all day long. Skates and dogfish. As soon as your bait hits the water, something, some scavenger on it. Even my little rod, was, I had little pieces of squid out for kingfish or puffer. Decent sized dogfish are hitting that, tearing it all up, biting the hooks off. But Brittany was just got some got some footage off right off my phone, so I'm gonna show you guys that because I caught a giant dogfish, like the biggest one I've ever caught in my life. So I'll show you guys that. Hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned. See any deer? Got some stuff growing too. But yeah, hopefully this Friday I meet up with my buddy Tyler. He's like a pier legend at the, at the Cape Pier. He's down there every day, putting in the time, catches a bunch of fish. He knows what's going on. And I've known him for a couple years now, so um, we're, we're always texting and stuff. I'm going to get up with him, try to get on a good flounder bite off the pier or on the, the side banks or something. Maybe go to the inlet. I doubt it. I, I, I doubt I'll go to the inlet. Don't feel like going that far. But yeah, that's my next plan. But um, hope you guys enjoy this video for now, man. Thank you.
Let's say they make it worse wrapping themselves up further. Okay, come here. I'm about to say, get him by his. There you go. Here, let me hold this. All right, we got him untangled. Show him, show him how thick. She's about to give birth now. Oh my god. She's stressed out. Get her back in the water. That's a good boy. Good boy. Come on, Cody. Fish are doing well. I picked up another clown loach. So I got three of them now. And I'll show you guys something else I think I bought too. King's way in the back. Yeah, I just fed them. There he is. Um, that jaguar cichlid, uh, I haven't seen him. I'm pretty sure he died and got eight or something. I don't know what's going on with him. This is my little 20 long. Got some tetras, rasboras. Baby little angelfish. Come on, focus. And a bunch of little quarry cats in there. Got a snail, some ghost shrimp. Pretty cool little tank. And also, kind of dark in here. Oh wow, this camera's good in the dark. I just picked up a 75 gallon. We gotta get that set up for the Oscar. Probably the clown loaches and the pleco.